When it comes to taking a photo, how many of us feel much more comfortable taking the picture than being in front of the camera? Welcome back to Get Connected. I'm your host, Con Jackson. Well, our next guest is a world-renowned photographer. In fact, she was the youngest ever to take a cover shot for Vogue. Now she finds herself on a new Lifetime special. And of course, I'm talking about Amanda D. Cadenet. She is simply amazing. And she's interviewing some of the biggest names in the industry in Hollywood. In fact, in the last couple days, you may have seen her billboards all over town promoting the new show. And uh, Amanda, is it weird seeing yourself like that? It's very peculiar, you know. I'm like a working mom who lives in the valley in LA and it's all, then all those billboards are in my neighborhood, you know, and my I have little kids and they uh, they just think it's really odd that their mom is on phone booths and stuff. It truly is so cool. Now, I know you're an award-winning photographer. I'm just curious the picture and the ad looks amazing, but I know you had a lot to do with that. I had a lot to do with it. Um, you know, so I had asked a friend of mine called Norman Jean Roy, who's an amazing photographer, to do the photos for me. And my show is about authenticity. It's about, you know, who women really are. And it's not, you know, I didn't want some kind of like glamour shot, you know, that was crazy retouched. Because that's not who I am and that's not what my show is about. And so he worked very closely with me to, uh, to choose that image. <laughs> he was very kind and gracious and let me be really involved in the process. And I'm just curious, what did you learn when you interviewed Lady Gaga? When I interviewed Lady Gaga, I learned what a grounded, kind, compassionate woman she is. And I understand why she's such a success, because she really does feel like she is contributing something to her fans' lives, and she really is. And then there's another megastar you interviewed, one of my favorites, Jane Fonda. I know that you really opened her up in your interview. Jane Fonda was my dream interview. I was so excited to get to interview her. If I grow up to be like Jane Fonda, I will be a happy woman. She, I mean, she was funny. She was smart. She is. She's funny and smart. She's insightful. She's wise. She, she really set the bar. I mean, what an amazing role model this woman is. That's wonderful. We've also had the pleasure to interview her several times. What an inspiring, amazing woman. But I'm just curious, during your interview, what resonated the most about her with you? I think it was just the commitment to knowing yourself, the commitment to knowing that, you know, we're all looking to outside stuff to fix this. If I have that job, if I have that relationship, if I can just have this amount of kids and live in this kind of house and wear these kind of clothes and have this kind of body, then I'll be happy. And the truth is, is that none of that makes you happy. It can temporarily feel good. And what she reinforced is that you have to be okay with yourself. There's no doubt about it. You really captured a real personal feel with these interviews. Now, when I've seen the ads around town, I've got to ask you, because I see Demi Moore as the co-producer of the show. How did you guys collaborate? Uh, Demi and I have been friends for quite a few years. We have mutual friends who said, you two have to meet. You have so much in common. You're going to love each other. And, and we did. We met and we loved each other. And we've been very, uh, you know, very solid friends since then. So, you know, to work with someone who I admire and respect so greatly um, and to have one of my best girlfriends who has my back. Amanda, how does Demi most challenge you? She's a very compassionate woman and very lacking in judgment. And so when I can err on the side of being a little more uh, stern about things or people, she will say, well, maybe you need to look at it differently. You know, maybe they didn't mean it like that. Or she definitely pushes me to be a better person. And I, that's, that's a good friend to me. Amanda, again, congratulations on the show with Lifetime. I'm just curious, with your tremendous success as a photographer, as a mom, now as a TV host, what advice would you give to any of us living out our dreams given that success? If you can dream it, then it's possible and there is a way. There is no shortcut to achieving your dreams. It is sheer consistency, showing up, hard work, and believing that it can happen. This is a little idea that I had from my from my home in the valley in Los Angeles when I just had newborn babies and I was very overwhelmed with life. And I really believed that this thing was needed and that it would be beneficial and inspiring and hopeful for many women. And so it is possible to achieve your dreams if you just keep showing up and believing in it. And if you don't believe in it, no one else will.
Well, one thing's for sure, I'm glad that you have kept showing up because we get to tune in and watch you in action and learn a lot from these amazing women. Thanks for sharing your time with us. Thank you. Amanda Day Cadenet. Man, I enjoyed talking to her. And I think what I uncovered as I was talking with her is something that really sets her apart. She has a real inner peace, a calmness. And I bet in the settings that she chooses to shoot these stars, that really enables them to open up and share things. We've probably never heard about them. So I would advise turning into Lifetime Network and checking out Amanda. I know that I will be. We'll be right back with our big surprise. So glad you got to check out that clip. But listen, we've got plenty more going on here at Get Connected, our TV show. My friend and I are going to give you a glimpse of all the fun. So take it away. The sun shines bright as it moves across my face. I feel the light and everything is in its place. I woke up feeling great. Today was made for me. And life is good the way it should, the way it was meant to be. Well, join us and we'll get you in the know. Check us out at GetConnected at ConTV.com and be part of the movement.